been in Australia. Um, so for me, it's it's um, logical that they can win over there. It'll be a, be a very good acid test with Peterson back in the side. Uh, Jonathan Trott, who uh, excelled on his debut, I think he can look good, in the, good there and solid there. Uh, it's just I hope we've got enough variation in the bowling department. You've got the old warhorse, Jack Callis, who's always going to be there or thereabouts. The captain uh, will want to do well. Um, and there's a few youngsters coming through. But, you know, they're a good team, but I don't think they're as good a team as they were two years ago, two or three years ago. They've lost Pollock. You know, they've got a few players are going the wrong way now. And that happens, and that, we've seen that with Australia. And England actually has already started rebuilding, so that's good from their point of view. I would suggest that someone goes and analyses the amount of days of cricket these boys play a year, as opposed to the guys that used to play uh, county cricket as well as international cricket, and went on tours lasting four months. I really think, guys, if you're worried about burn-up in your second year, then I think that's pretty sad. I would suggest that you get on and play, and I don't think, and also I'll tell you something else where you don't get burn up is when you're winning. Uh, I don't read a great deal into 2020s. 2020s should not be played internationally anyway. It should be played as a franchise, and the franchise is worldwide. So in England, you'd have, say, the Birmingham franchise, which would be Worcester, Warwickshire, Derby, Derby and Leicestershire. And they would play, you call them what you want, the Midlands franchise, whatever, and they would play uh, the Rajasthan Royals, or they'd play the Victorian Bush Rangers. And I think then your best players can be picked for that, uh, if they want to be. But we're all hearing about this burn-up and this cluttering of international fixtures. We'll dump 2020. We've just had the World Cup of Cricket in England in June 2020. Now we've got another one coming up in the Caribbean. This is just pure greed from the authorities. Nothing else. And they are very likely to, to kill the goose that lays the golden egg. The international 2020 should be played once every four years in a World Cup format. And then you can have a two-year division between the 40 or 50 over game and the 20 over game in a World Cup format. Don't get overkill it. And I think you'll find that they think it's an easy buck, some of these cricket authorities, and they will kill it. Because people are getting fed up with it. As I said to you, watch your favourite film every night of the week, you'll soon get bored of it. The other thing that people forget, they all talk about 2020. Where do the 2020 players come from? They come from the Test Arena. They're the stars of the Test Arena. People forget that. And without Test Cricket, which is your flagship, there is no 2020 cricket. There is no 50 over cricket. Test Cricket's where it all starts. No, I wouldn't worry about it if I was England. I'd go out there and swing from the hip, because that's basically what 2020 is about. And if it comes off, it comes off. No, I don't really hold much credence. I'm more interested in the longer form of the one-day game where we do need to. And, and to me, there is uh, a lot more um, skill, and I think that will become a 40-over game rather than a 50-over game, but played with the same restrictions that you have in the 50-over game. So therefore, we want to have that 10-over period of the most boring cricket in the world where everyone ticks over. Uh, so that would revamp that game, and uh, 2020 has a place, but not in the international table.